Welcome back. We are joined now by our friend of the show, 417 Foodist, Billy Dove. Billy, how are you? I am well. How are you? We're good. We're good. Yeah, we were just saying we love to hear about yes. the places that you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, every time I check your social media, I'm all, even if I'm not hungry, I instantly get Yeah, hungry, your pictures so. <laughs> are always amazing. I guess I'm doing my job right then, right? <laughs> all right, so you've got two places we want to talk about today. Yes. So the first one is called Urban Grounds Coffee and Plant Lab. What do we need to know about this place? So they're located in Ozark, so it's a really nice coffee shop, but the moment you walk in, it's not only are you smelling coffee, but there's they've got plants mm. all over the place. So you can go in there and you can browse all the different type of plants they have in there, and you can get yourself a coffee, but you can also pick up uh, a toasty from their menu, which are different toasted and are different toast. They have all kinds of variety of toppings on top. What is on this picture we're looking at? So this one is, I believe, called the Figgy Goat. So it's got figgy goat. Uh, <laughs> fig <laughs> jam name, yeah. with yeah. sliced uh, green apples and prosciutto. Mm. Some goat cheese, and some maybe? goat cheese on top. Mm. So you've got like that sweet, salty, yeah. with some crunch to it from the apples. So Interesting amazing. combination. Yeah. yeah. A lot of flavors happening there. And then what about this one? So the next one was the Caprese. And it has pesto with sliced tomatoes and mozzarella and like a drizzle of balsamic I could glaze on top. Anytime. Yeah, Same. it That's was really good. Yeah, kind of cool. paired well uh, with that with the figgy goat being on the sweeter side mm -hmm. and getting that one with more of the rich of that mozzarella on mm -hmm. top. Uh -huh. and, and the bread is really dense, so it's it holds up well to mm -hmm. all those toppings on top of it. Now, when you say plant lab, is there a reason why it's called lab? Are they so they've got different when you come in, they've got kind of like private rooms. I guess you can reserve and oh. um, so if you're into like the succulents and different stuff like that, that you can go in there and scope out and, and have your little party in there and stuff. Mm -hmm. so. How fun is yeah, that? Yeah, it's pretty cool yeah. looking, it's really different. nice. Right, and okay, so obviously it's also it's a coffee shop. So have you tried any of their coffee or do they have any like specialties there that people may um, enjoy? So I've, uh, I had a cup of, I think it was just black coffee is what mm -hmm. I had when I went, but they have a full menu mm -hmm. of things to choose from. Yeah, from so there. all the so, typicals that oh, you can yeah. expect. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so the other place we want to cover is Mimi's Soul Food. Tell me about this place. Yes, so, so if you're a fan of soul food like <laughs> I am, anything that sticks to your ribs, this place, I mean, they've got everything from uh, fried potatoes and brown beans and cornbread to fried chicken. Um, but when I went, I had heard about the Cajun fish and mm -hmm. spaghetti. And together? Oh, together. Oh, okay. I've not heard of this. And so it's uh, two pieces of fried catfish huh. and a big pile of spaghetti and a piece of sweet uh, cornbread. Did that go so well together for it you? It really did. Delicious. Yeah, yes. it does. You've got that richness from the spaghetti and uh -huh. then the, the fish has a little bit of heat to it, like some cayenne heat to it. Perfect. Mm. So it's okay. kind of crispy, flaky. I and, and I'm a sucker for collard greens. Right. Uh -huh. And so, I mean, if I see it on a menu someplace, well, I'm going to get it. you can't really get that anywhere. <laughs> you can't. So, right. Yeah. Right. Very unique. And they were this awesome and then we finished it with the smothered bone-in fried pork chops oh my god <laughs> so, that <laughs> yeah insane. that's like the dessert i'm expecting dessert again you probably don't have room for dessert yeah. after that <laughs> oh my gosh now mimi's is like relatively new right yes i believe they've only been open for maybe three or four months down on kimbrew and when i got there on a saturday night parking i mean it was full it was packed mm. and it's cooked to order and I mean, you've seen people coming in and people ordered and they waited. Yeah. Because I mean, you knew you were getting good food. Right. I mean, it was definitely worth that the did. wait. Don't yeah. let don't let the long lines <laughs> in the parking lot, you know, right. lead you astray. I mean, it's definitely worth checking out. Yeah. Sure. Now remind people um, if they want more from you or if they want to give you any ideas or places to check out, how can they do that? Yeah. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram for the 417 Foodist. Okay. And then I also write monthly for the Springfield CVB mm -hmm. at springfieldmo.org. Okay, perfect. Billy, thanks so much for joining us. We yeah, really appreciate you. Yeah. Next, each week, a team is eliminated from the amazing race. That's right. Here directly from Team T-Rex when we come back.